All right, so in this, um, oh, did I not save? There we go. There we go. So Utah was telling me that this matchup is really, really bad for Blastoise. Um, and I can see that. Lucario should be bad for Blastoise. <laughs> he, he should. And then weird shit Like, happens. everything should be bad for Blastoise. Though, because I, I swear all the weird shit happens to me. <laughs> it does. Well, <laughs> also to Sir Salty. He, yeah, him too. He gets the weird shit. No, I get the shit that screws me over out of winning. Oh, I see. Yeah, that, that <laughs> is true. It would, still would have been a long comeback for you, but no, I mean, but you had the chance. Anyways. So right now, Mio having the hardest time ever getting in through to Utah. And that's the thing. Utah was saying about mid-range is where you want to avoid Blastoise. Right. But right now, Utah's looking for a perfect. Yeah. So something I noticed when I was playing Mio. <laughs> yep. And there it is, perfect. perfect. Something I noticed is that he doesn't block on Wake Up. I caught him all the time with 2Y on Wake Up. Mm -hmm. Yep. Something that I shouldn't. Need, shouldn't be happening every single time. That was actually pretty cool. Nice job dodging all those, yep. but he's he's still not getting in. He's still having the biggest trouble. Oh yeah, no. It, um, it, it's similar to like how Dark Rise uh, struggles against other zoners. Mm -hmm. uh, Blastoise is the same way because his zoning is so slow. Yeah. In comparison, uh, anyone who has a faster zoning capabilities, he doesn't struggle. He struggles a lot more with. Which you know I can definitely see. Um, in regards to the Emolga support, I feel like Pachirisu is going to be his best bet in this in this matchup. Um, against Utah, most likely. Uh, that'll that'll pull a lot of Utah's uh, ranged attacks away, give him the chance to actually get in and deal the damage he needs to deal. Absolutely, for sure. And I mean, that was a great reversal count, uh, grab from Utah. I really think if you're going to have a support, though, you need to also use it. Emolga wasn't used a single time. No, it wasn't. And so, I mean, already really, really decisive round one being taken from U yep. for Utah. Yeah, Gard I mean, Gardevoir has, like, the best projectile priority in the game aside from fully charged force here. So. Yeah. So and, and so in this case, get rid of his projectiles. Make it so that yours are the only ones that are being thrown as Blastoise. Yep. Use that Pachirisu. You're stuck with Pachi. Sorry, you're stuck with the Emolga, excuse me. Yeah, and I mean, it's... He didn't use it. So, I mean, why have it? I think he's going for a combo setup with it. Whoa! Uh, good, good float cancel there by Utah to stay in the air to avoid the grab. Yeah, that was really smart. Utah playing very, very smart right now. Ooh, jeez, already below half. Neo in a really tough position. Does decide to go for the earthquake though. Waterfall in the face. <laughs> All right. All right, not bad. Rapid spin, getting himself out of the situation. Yep. That was a really really far away grab that he was going grab for. has a re that grab extends a good half a character length past the animation doesn't it it's crazy oh uh, yep utah i mean we're the state that oh wow i didn't know what just happened until i saw but that was really clever yeah i probably would have gone for dark pulse probably would have hit him in the air uh potentially all right so here's the next thing that you do uh in that situation you wait for the slightest movement from utah and then you pop a Molka. Get him that slow speed debuff, and then that gives you more options to play around with. Right. Oh, nice drop, though. Yeah, the... but unfortunately, he <laughs> lands right in front of uh, Utah. Yeah. There we go. The uppercut. He is whiffing a lot right now. Yeah. It's interesting. Also, that move is really interesting, too. Yeah. Because it does put him in the air, so it avoids lows. Oh. I, I, uh, he started using it against me. That's how he started avoiding my two Ys. That was pretty clever. Nice yep. mix up from Mio. Only problem is he still hasn't used his support. He needs he to. Well, there wasn't a good spot to use it. No, it uh, wasn't. But I mean, okay, right. he's got him Ball against flag. the wall. Oh, no. Okay. He definitely buffered that there. <laughs> um, I don't. I don't think he was ready for. Yeah, like I said, that puts him in the air. Yeah. Okay. Activating uh, his burst. But yeah, on that wall, but I'm pretty certain he didn't expect the splash to oh. toss so high up. Oh. Oh! Oh, yep, no! He he, oh! Oh! a little too late on, on it there. Oh, the counter didn't go through. Mio is so close. He does get... Oh! oh. Utah going 2-0 so far. Wow. 
Damn. he had such a great opportunity there. He's still sticking with Emolga. You gotta switch this up, man. I mean, like, you missed it. The one time you used it, you missed. <laughs> yeah, he's... not, And that's not to say that he's not doing good. Uh -huh. with, I mean, he's doing really good without it. But you have so much more play when you use your supports. Right. Especially ones that are supposed to, like, lower speed and, and put a lot of pressure on your opponent. Oh, jeez. You're saying this to me. The guy who barely uses his... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> but you have been getting better. You definitely have. Yeah. There we go. Good tech. Ah, oh, you saw that? Great wait. He said, okay, yep. he's waiting for a rapid spin. Oh my gosh, the switch up! This is a new Mio. We're seeing a lot of adaptation mid-gameplay. Right. That did, that did so much damage. Two hits. That is way overpowered. See, right here is where you Emolga. Every, every yeah. All those shots that he was throwing out is where you definitely Emolga. Well, I think he was more worried because of the Emolga. He was worried about getting hit by any single one of those. Yeah, it would have slowed Utah down, <laughs> but that's only Utah's movement speed. It doesn't affect anything else, and Utah hardly moves. That, I mean, that's true, but at the same time, it gives you more damage. It gives, it gives you, you chip, yeah. and it gets a debuff. So three things all apply and work in Blastoise's favor. Yeah, he just was in a really bad position. I don't think it, it wasn't really safe a safe option at the battle. But I get what you're saying. Uh, dive just a little too late, a little too early into the barrier. Okay, nice. Not bad. Gets the reset. Oh, ho, ho, ho. You can tell Utah is scared. <laughs> there it is! Oh. But he catches the mix up instead. Nope. nope. It's gonna way too late. Yep. I mean you had to have done it like right then and there. Yeah, I you had Nice to nice yeah. try, mind you. Yeah, you had to realize that, that was gonna ball splat right away. It was gonna quick drop. Oh, that's it. No, nope. no, nope. oh, he whiffs. He whiffs his the punish that he could have gotten. Slaps. Oh, well, gets it right back, so. Um it won't kill though. No, it won't, but it'll still do a lot of damage. Say it with me, ladies and gentlemen, Anime Waifu Cannon! Big damage. All right. I like the Rotom play. It's going to stop a lot of movement. Yep. If he can get the Waterfall off right now, though, that's... Oh, he, you can see he tried. Yeah. And that's it. Solid 3-0. Yep, for sure. Um, but big congrats to Mio for... Uh, Making it through a bit of a gauntlet here. Yeah, for uh, first tournament-wise, yeah. too.